Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this tree skirt right here with all the fringe on it. You see? It's made with um, double crochet and front post triple crochet. So you can see the posts all line up there. And then it's got some single crochet up around the neck. It's got these square buttons, which you can unbutton and put it around your skirt. Or put put it around your tree. I'm sorry. The buttons. Come on down here. I'm trying to do it one-handed, but anyway, they come on down like that. That way you can wrap it around your um, tree and then button it back on. There are silver square buttons. And the fringe, which is always optional if you do not want to put that on. It's um, got six points on it. Now, it's quite large. Now, you can make it smaller, you know, if you wish, just by leaving off uh, more rows here. So, with the fringe on it, from one point to the next, counting the fringe, it's 72 inches. Now, from one point to the next point without the fringe, it's 62 inches. And then, if you want to go from the flat side to another flat side with the fringe is 58 inches and from flat side to the other flat side here without the fringe is 45 inches so you can decide how big you want to make it but that's how big mine turned out remember fringe is always optional i think it looks super cool though i like makes it look pretty old-fashioned so uh, let's go ahead and get started on this Okay, for this project, I am using some yarn that I got from Hershner's. This is Hershner's Worsted 8 Holiday Sparkle Yarn, and it's an 8-ounce ball. It's just a medium, 4-weight, 100% acrylic yarn, and it's got the sparkles in it. Don't have to use this yarn. Any medium 4-weight yarn will work. Um, let's see, though. There are... ounces are... 489 yards per ball now I went through I have uh, four colors here so I'll show you the colors I got um, this one's called garnet acro evergreen and then this is the one I use for the fringe and it is called Victorian Christmas so those are the colors that I used now for the main for the main part of the Christmas tree skirt without the fringe I used one whole one of these plus part of another. So you're probably going to need about um let's see there's 489 yards per ball. You're probably going to need about 525 yards of three different colors if you want to do it like me. So this say 1600 yards to be safe for the tree skirt part and for the fringe i went through about two and a half balls of those so seven 700 yards 750 yards if you want to add fringe so that's the total amount you're going to need so all together i would say just to be you know safe 2300 2400 yards total including fringe that's what you'll need now um buttons i got these at hobby lobby but you can use any type of buttons that you want these are the size of them here one and a quarter inch buttons and i just use regular yarn and a yarn needle to sew them on but you can use regular thread if you want to also and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook all right, you want to go ahead and start off with a chain of 90. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Remember, we don't count the one that's on our, on our hook. So go ahead and do the second chain and put one single crochet. And now we're going to work across and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. Just 
So row one is one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I've made it to the end of row one and you should have a total of 89 stitches. So 89 is the number that you need to have. Okay, now we're gonna start forming the points and the overhang that the buttons attach to. So we're gonna head and chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. Never will it count as a stitch. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one double crochet into the next nine stitches. So our first one goes right here in the very, very first spot. So we wanna do nine in a row. So there's one, two, There's nine. Now in the next stitch, we're gonna form our first point. So what we're gonna do into the next stitch, we're gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one and two. And then we're gonna chain two and put two more double crochets into the same stitch. So that's how the points are always formed, always the same way two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets all into the same stitch. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So one double into the next 13. So there's one, two, three, four, Okay, so I got my 13 double crochets there in a row. So I'm, in the next stitch, I'm going to do another point. So I'm gonna go right into the next stitch and I'm going to work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles all into the same stitch. And that will be my second point formed. Now I'm gonna work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches again. Okay, I got my 13 double crochets in a row. So in the next stitch, I'm gonna do another point. So I'm gonna work two double crochets a chain two and two double crochets into the next stitch. Now again, I'm gonna work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. All right, I got my 13 stitches again. So I'm gonna put a point in the next stitch. So the next stitch, I'm gonna work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles, all into the same stitch. And again, I'm gonna work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. Okay, I did 13 stitches again. I'm gonna put another point into the next stitch. So two doubles, chain two, two doubles into the next stitch. And now one more time, I'm gonna put one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. Okay, 
okay I did 13 stitches again and the next stitch I'm going to put my last point so I'm gonna put two double crochets a chain of two and two more double crochets like that and now you should have a nine stitches that remain go ahead and put one double crochet into the remaining nine stitches Okay, now at the end of row two, you should have a total of 107 stitches, and this is what it looks like. So you'll have um, six points, so two, four, six, and then here is your button over flap. There's three stitches on the side, three stitches on the side, so that'll over flap like that. So that's what it looks like. It'll look better when it gets bigger. Hopefully, I can only hope. <laughs> All right, um, let's start round three. Now, um, you can decide when you want to switch colors. That's that's up to you. So rows three and four are the repeat rows for the whole tree skirt. So it's just a two row repeat. It's pretty easy. So row three, we're gonna chain one and turn. We want to put one double crochet into the first four stitches. This very first one counts as number one. So go right back into that same stitch there. So there's one, two, oops, three, and four. Now we are going to put a front post triple crochet into the next stitch so we're going to yarn over twice like we're doing a triple crochet but instead of going into the top of the stitch we're going to go around the post of it like that so where the post is on the front of our hook like that and then we go ahead and do our triple crochet like that. and now i'm going to do one just regular double crochet into the top of the next like that and we repeat the front post triple crochet regular double crochet until we get to our chain two space so again i'm going to do a front post triple crochet to the next stitch and then a regular double crochet in the top of the next and then we're going to do a front post triple crochet into the next And then a regular double crochet on top of the next. And then we got one more here. We want to do a front post triple crochet around this last one before our chain two space. Now in the chain two space and in every chain two space, we always do the same thing. We're always going to work our point, which is two double crochets. chain two and two more double crochets just like that now since we ended over here with a front post triple crochet before the chain two space we want to start out over here with the front post triple crochet after this chain two space so go ahead and yarn over twice and do your front post triple crochet around that first stitch and then a regular double crochet into the next. Front post triple crochet around in the next stitch there. And then a double crochet into the top of the next. And we're gonna repeat this front post triple crochet and then a regular double crochet. Just keep repeating them until we get to our next chain two space.
just like that. You kind of seen the posts. They'll start to line up more better. All right, I've made it to my next chain two space. And every time you get to your chain two space, you should always end in a front post triple right before it. So in this chain two space, I'm going to do my point, the same thing. I'm gonna work two double crochets, chain of two, and two more double crochets. So now I'm gonna repeat what I just did across the whole piece. So here, until I get to this point, I do my triple crochet, front post triple crochet, double crochet, front post triple, double, all the way until I get to this point, and then I put my two doubles, chain two, two doubles, and then I do the same here to this point, the same here to this point, and the same here to the last point. So we're just repeating this section right here on the rest of our points. And I will meet back up with you when we get when you make it here to your last point and we'll finish this last piece out together. So remember, since we end in a front post triple, we have to start our next part in a, with a front post triple. So I'm just going to repeat it all over again. Front post triple and then double. Front post triple. And then double. Front post triple. And then double. All the way to my chain two space. And then it's two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then repeat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you here at this last point. All right, I've come to my last point, my last chain two space. So I'm going to go ahead and work my two double crochets and then a chain two and then two more doubles. Now I'm going to start off with a front post triple crochet. And then a double crochet into the next. And then front post triple crochet. I'm going to repeat this until I get to my last four stitches. So it's, we're repeating the front post triple, regular double, front post triple, regular double until we get to our last four stitches. So I'm at my last four. I just did a front post triple. I have four left and that is my four stitch overhang for my button. I'm going to put one double crochet in the remaining four stitches. That will end row three. This is what it looks like and you should have a total of 131 stitches. You will have 24 more stitches than you did the previous row. From now on, no matter what row you're on, you will always have 20 more, 24 more stitches than you did the row before. So since we had 107 before, now we have 131. So here is our four stitch here, overhang on both sides. That's where we will put our buttons. So that's what it looks like now. Row four is pretty much the same, except for where you're going to be working back post triple crochets. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. So I'm going to put one double crochet into the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to work a back post triple into the next stitch. If you look, it's the front post triple from the previous row. So we're just keeping our post stitches lined up. So the back post, you just go around the stitch from the back like this. Now this post of the stitch is on the back of your hook. And then you go ahead and do your triple crochet. And then I'm going to do double crochet into the next. 
Now we're going to do back post triple into the next. And double crochet into the next. And we're going to repeat this until we get to our first chain two space. So back post triple crochet. And then double, double crochet. Back post triple. And double. And then back post triple will always be the last stitch before the chain two space. And then in the chain two space, you want to work your point. You want to work your two doubles. Chain two. And two more doubles. Now we're going to start again. Since we ended in a back post triple, we need to start over here in a back post triple. So the first stitch is a back post triple. And then a double into the next. Back post triple. And then double into the next. Back post triple. And double into the next and we're going to repeat this until we get to our next chain two space. If you turn it over you can see that the post stitches are staying lined up just like they're supposed to. And when you get more rows on them you'll see them better. So back post triple and double. Back post triple and double until you get to your next chain two space. Okay, I've made it to my next chain two space. My last stitch before the chain two space was a back post triple crochet. So in the chain two space, I'm going to work my point. I'm going to work two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles. And then I'm going to repeat what we did over here. Again, here, 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 and I can meet you right here at this last point. So remember, since we ended in a front or back post triple here, we have to start with a back post triple here. So we're repeating what we just did. Remember, it's basically the same thing as the last round, except for we're working back post triple crochets instead of front posts. It's not, it's not hard at all. So I'm going to continue repeating this until I get to the last point, and that's where I'll meet up with you at. Okay, so I've made it to my last point, and I just did my two double, chain two, two double. Now I'm going to start by putting a back post triple into the next. And then a double into the next. And I'm going to repeat this sequence until I get to my last four stitches again. So back post, triple, and double. And then back post. I'll tell you, those back posts are a little bit more difficult than the front post. And then regular double. Back post triple. And then double. Do this to your last four. So I'm at my last four now. I just did a back post triple. I have four stitches left. You want to go ahead and end, always in with four double crochets in your last stitch. And that will end row four, 
Now you want, you're gonna have 24 more stitches than you did the previous row, always. So we had 131 last time, so now we should have 155. So now it's just a repeat of rows three and four. There's your four stitches on this side, four stitches on this side. That's gonna be our buttonhole row. And that is what it's starting to look like. Now you need to determine where you want to do your color changes. I'm going to do one after every repeat. So rows three and four are the repeat. So I did rows three and four in red. So I'm going to tie off and I'm going to do repeat rows three and four again in another color. Now when I tie change colors, I always tie off. If you don't do that, that's fine. You can change colors whenever you want and however you usually do it. But I always tie off. So I'm just turning my work here. Now the front side of my work is facing me. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my new color. So for row five, I'm just gonna repeat what we did on row two, but I'm just changing colors here. So I'm just gonna start my new color in that first stitch chain one and then I'm just going to repeat row three so it's one double into the first four stitches it'll be pretty easy when you get the, once you get the hang of it and remember you change colors whenever and however often you want you could do it one solid color would look beautiful you could redo it change colors every other row would look beautiful every five rows whatever you want to do it's your tree skirt whatever you think looks great but so now comes the task of repeating these rows and until we get our tree skirt as big as we want it to be so I'm gonna get busy I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm gonna do but remember we're just repeating rows three and four I'm changing colors every uh two rows now every repeat rows every two repeat rows but whatever you want to do um and you always have 24 stitches 24 more stitches than you did the previous row so i will let you know here in just one second one second for you many many hours for me later <laughs> how many total rows i did all right, I have done a total of 26 rounds. You can do more if you want, depending on however big you want your tree skirt to be, or you can do less, that's up to you. But 26 was my total number that I did. And now I'm gonna go around the top with some single crochet to clean up that top edge <clears throat> it's super big so <laughs> it's gonna me just a, it's gonna be hard to show you here okay here's what we got so far let me flip it around here so this row right here is the buttonhole row and then on the other side you sew on the buttons and then you use this as the holes for where your buttons are going to attach to but right now you want the front facing you like this so here's this the hole the skirt hole scoot my camera back a bit <clears throat> and you want to start your yarn right up here in your very first stitch I'm using white but you, you can use whatever color you want and then we will chain one I'm going to go back into that same stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet. And now I'm going to work across the whole top, putting one single crochet in every stitch along the top. Just like this. Clean up that top edge. Now 
So I'm just going to continue all the way around. I'm going to work one single crochet all the way around the whole top until I get right over here to the other side. All right, once you make it to the other side, you should have a total of 89 stitches because that's what we had um, after we finished a row one. If you don't have exactly that, it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to make no difference, but 89 is what I have. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work another row another of single crochet. So I'm going to go right back into this very first stitch like that and then I'm going to work again one single crochet in every stitch all the way across until I get to the other side. So again it's just one row. It's just another row of one single crochet in every stitch. like that. All right, I've made it to the other side. 89 stitches still. I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to repeat that one more time. So it'll be a total of three rows of single crochet here around the top. If you want to do more, that's completely up to you. If you want to do less, by all means, you can do as many rows as you want. But I'm just going to do one more row of one single crochet and every stitch across the top until I get to the other side. When I get to the other side, I'll still have 89 stitches, and then I'll just go ahead and tie off and hide my tail. Okay, now what you want to do is you just want to sew on your buttons. Over, it doesn't matter what side you sew them on. Just to your row of uh, double crochet here. Either side's fine. Um, I sewed every... Uh, I used six buttons down mine. And I sewed them on every other row. Just with a yarn needle and a piece of yarn. You can sew them every row if you want. Every two rows. However many you, you want to do. But I ended up down here one row left with no button. So that's how I did mine. And then I'll use the other side as my button holes. So like that. Just kind of line them up and so that's how I will button up my skirt. You don't even have to put buttons on it if you don't want to. That's up to you. And then I, the fringe. If you want to add fringe. Now fringe isn't for everybody. I like it though. A lot. But I just don't like putting it on. It, it, it is pretty time consuming. But I actually had the help of my kids for this tree skirt to put the fringe on. Because it was such a big project to do. So they're good kids and they helped me out. Get this button and we'll do the fringe. Fringe is real, it's pretty easy to put on. Now you don't have to do it exactly the same as me. <clears throat> Let's see here. You can make your fringe longer or shorter or thicker or however you want. I'll go ahead and show you how I did mine here. I've got a couple spaces here I still need to put fringe on. So what I did is I took some pieces of yarn here. I used my multicolored yarn for the fringe. And they are approximately eight inches long. I put two of them together, just two. And then I take my down here closer. I take my uh, hook, and I went in between the stitches, as you can see. And I stuck it in between the stitch like that, and I grab my two pieces of yarn and pull them through. Set my hook down. And put my fingers through like that. And now I even up my ends on the, on these pieces like that. And then I grab them and pull them through the hoop. And pull it tight. Just like that. And that's how 
put the fringe on. If you don't want fringe, you can leave it off. If you want to your fringe longer, make it longer. If you want it spaced out more, you can leave more spaces in between. But I put it between in between every stitch. So right here would be my next spot. So I go with my hook from underneath and then pull my two strands through. Drop my hook and put my fingers through the loops like that. Now you gotta line up these two pieces and then pull them through the loop like that. Again, I go to my next one in between the stitches here. Pull them through, line them up, get them equal down here as best as possible and pull them through. And you can trim them up later if you want if that you know if you're having trouble getting them equal pull it through line them up and just like that and that's how I did my fringe but remember if you want them think thicker you can add more together you can leave them spaced out farther if you want it's up to you but that's it. Once you get all your fringe done, your Christmas tree skirt is done. I think it turned out super cool. Though I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to donate it to someone who needs it. Um, because I already have a special tree, tree skirt that I use at my house. But yes, I more than likely will probably donate it to someone who needs it. Or I'll do, I'll do something with it. I'll give it away to somebody. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I think it turned out super cool. I really, really like it. And I think it's someone, whoever gets it's going to really, really like it too. Hopefully, anyways. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. You won't, don't want to miss out any of my tutorials or yarn reviews or yarn hauls or anything yarn related. Yarn giveaways. All kinds of, all kinds of stuff for any. I got, you love yarn, crocheting. My channel covers it all. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on. Um, and that's it. As always, thanks everybody for watching. And have a good day.